There has been so much that has gone on within the last 24 hours. And before I start the video today, I want to say rest in peace to Etika. This man changed my life forever. Forever. What just happened connected with me on some deep level that I don't think anybody really understands. Before I made yesterday's video, I had already donated $2,500 to his family's charity. Before I made the video, as soon as I looked into Etika, it hit me so hard. I felt such a connection with this whole entire story. I instantly said, I want to support this. And I'm an influencer. So my goal is to influence everyone. Whether you come and see me as hate or you come and you see me as love, my goal is to influence you into donating as well. So I wanna to take today this time to clear up all of the misunderstanding that's gone on from my last video. Like I said, I donated $2,500 to his family and the charity before I even did the video. Well before, a few hours before I even made the video. It wasn't until the end of the video where I also said, I'm asking anybody of you, if you're watching me right now to donate to Etika, I'm gonna put the link in the description. And hell yeah, I put ads on this shit and it's all going to Etika. All the ad revenue is going towards Etika. People didn't watch that far. As of right now, when I'm making this video, yesterday's video on Etika so far has a million views. My typical video with a million views normally makes like one or two thousand dollars. So for keeping my promise in yesterday's video of donating all the ad revenue gained from that video, I'm going to be donating another two thousand dollars to Active Minds, which was Etika's mom's charity choice. I never wanted to capitalize on Etika's death or suicide in general ever. This topic connects with me so deep. I want to talk to as many people as I can about this topic. So I want to ask you if you are watching me either to support me or to hate me, please donate to Etika's GoFundMe. Link is going to be in the description. I also want to say that all the money raised on this video as well is going to be donated again to Etika's charity. I feel like so many YouTubers just remove the ads out of respect, but I feel like the real respect is to contribute to the cause of mental illness. This man died. These YouTubers, your favorite YouTubers are millionaires and they can't donate one dollar. I don't think they really care. And what Etika was talking about on his very last video is exactly what needs to happen. YouTube needs to become a better place. The only reason why I'm bringing up what just happened to me the other week is because it all relates to why this Etika story has affected me so much. It's very relevant to what is going on. This is why Etika has impacted me so much. This is why I connect with what Etika was talking about. And that's why I can relate to him. This man is very influential to me. I fully connect with what he was talking about. It could have been me that was dead last week. And if my mom was standing up there on my YouTube video and crying, would you be saying this to her? About two days ago, I made a video calling out this douchebag piece of shit named Jason who made a video where he pretends that he was beaten and robbed and nearly killed. It's all very fake, and I called it out and took a shit on it made fun of it. Would you be telling her that it's all fake? Would you be telling her to show police reports and make a new video about it? You know how painful that would be? How painful would it be to Etika that has thousands of fans, people who supposedly care about him, but when he's obviously crying out for help, people put clown emojis in the chat. People think it's all a game. Suicide is very serious, and so am I. I'm very serious. I feel like my last video was taken the complete wrong way based on the title and the thumbnail. But my goal is to reach as much people as possible. We do need to make a change. There is a big issue on YouTube, and in general, 
about mental health, especially in this social media age. What people comment to you in the chats can deeply affect you. I had 50,000 people tell me I should die yesterday. That I don't know what depression is. You don't really know me. Like what Etika was saying, we're not a cartoon character. We are real people. Imagine how painful it would have been for Etika's mom. When Etika was first missing, when everybody was saying it was fake. It was just an act. So before I end the video, I just want to tell you guys that I really did almost die last week. And when I was going out of consciousness and I thought I was done, I thought I was going to get murdered. The thought did come in my head. What people are going to say online about me? Are they going to talk about all the bad things I did? Like making the Ouija board Mac Miller video or XXX Tentacion video. And what's even worse is are they gonna make a Ouija board video about me, man? I thought about my parents and them having to live with their son dying in the public, with the public commenting about it. We're making videos saying this guy's a trash human being. Or are they gonna say, it's all an act? Would my mom be crying? And you'd be telling how, how much of a shitty person I am for faking this video when it wasn't fake? So that's why I titled it the same as the XXX video and the same as the Mac Miller video. Cause I wanted everyone who hated it before to come and see this new one where I apologized about it. And I do want to say again, I am sorry. And it's never going to happen again. I will never do that. And you know, people change. Before, I didn't think there was anything wrong. I'm going to be real or I wouldn't have done it. I never want to do bad things, man. I'm just going to be real. If I did it, it's because I didn't think it was a big deal. I do realize how stupid it was to make those videos, especially after coming so close to dying. And then when I put out the video about me almost dying, me escaping a home invasion where they tied me to a pole, almost killed me. They were gonna bash my head with a hammer and they put knives on my neck and told me they were gonna kill me if I didn't give them something I didn't even have. It was traumatic, that's why I'm in a hotel right now. It still affects me to this day, bro. It messed my head up. So I'm telling you, when Etika died and, and Etika was still missing, people were saying it was fake. Reminded me of how when I almost died, people were saying it was fake, bro. It messed me up, bro. And I thought of Etika's mom. And that's why I want to support him right now. And that's why I donated money. And that's why I want to say I'm sorry for making those videos. And I mean that. It was a bad, I don't know, maybe I just, I put out the video with the wrong title. Maybe I should have made a regular title, but I wanted all those people who got mad before, which was millions, to see it. And I knew if I just titled it regularly, no one's going to see it, bro. So forgive me or not, I'm still going to apologize. This is the last thing I, I'm going to say about it. And no, I'm not a disgusting piece of shit, bro. No, I'm not. I care more than a lot of these people. They're posting a suicide link. Oh, Etika was my family. Well, we're a helpless family then. Because I did, bro. He means a lot to me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I just had to clear it all up because this all blew up.